Hey YouTubers, Trade Archer here. Just got this in the mail the other day. This is the fourth arrow baton arm and uh, shipped. It was $109, which uh, is pretty amazing price uh, in my opinion. And that is going to be its selling point is um, the fact that it is $109. Of course, I've already unpacked it, and I've already got a chance to take a look at uh, it, and honestly, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or not because of some of the issues I have run into uh, with it. So, um, like I said, I've already messed with it. Let's go ahead and get it on the tree, and um, see how... Uh, See how that goes. Now, I've already installed uh, a cam over buckle because um, everybody, these are quieter than a ratchet strap and they hold fast pretty well. But if you've ever tried to install a tree arm uh, like this, it is really a pain in the butt uh, to try to hold it up. So what I have done is I have installed a hook here and I have attached this um, string so that I can hook it over and then that way it will support the uh, tree arm while I go ahead and do the buckle thing. So, and um, you'll wanna go ahead and have the buckle already installed because if you don't, you'll have to remember how to thread through this buckle uh, if you don't. So that's why I have it already installed. And if you've ever used these buckles that you, uh, you know that sometimes you can get them too tight to where you can't even close them. So you want to go ahead and get this uh, just right and then close it. And then as you close it, it does tighten this up, the base up. So I'm trying to make sure it's straight as possible because uh, there is no adjustment uh, left to right. So, and if you've ever used these before, you'll know that when you go to tighten it, one side will always dig in deeper than the other side. So what I try to do is try to adjust it some so that I get it both in equally. And also keep in mind, if you do this on a pine tree, this is going to leak down and the next time you use the uh, tree stand there's a chance that you could get pine sap on your clothing uh, when that happens so it's it's on there pretty firm now so now uh, this uh, knob on the side here um, is used to lock in the release so when it's down in the release position, it's locked and you can't push it to adjust it. And it can't adjust on its own. So if you unlock it, move it to the top position, it can actually adjust up on its own. Now, when I first got this, uh, well, let me show it to you later. I'll show this to you later. So I've got it. Let's see if I get it this level as I want to get it here. And uh, as far as up, down, um, and then I'm going to lock it. Now, you have to be careful with this. I wish this wasn't a knob because I've actually gotten this so tight that I had trouble at, with a knob backing it off. So you don't want to do it so tight that you can't uh, undo it. Uh, I might wish that this was uh, a wing nut of some type so you can get more leverage on it, but just don't over tighten this nut, uh, this knob, because I did over tighten it one time and it was very difficult for me to actually loosen it up. So, uh, so now it's in, uh, it seems to be level. And as far as left, right, this way, as long as you're close, you should be okay because the, uh, the arm is fairly taut. Uh, if you ever run loose joints, then you would have to be careful of 
it drifting on you while you were uh, filming. Um, so that's why you want to get it as close as you can. And it doesn't have to be dead on because the arm is not going to drift on you anyway because it is fairly, uh, it's a fairly tight arm anyway. So I'm going to grab my head here. Uh, this, you guys probably recognize this as the Andor uh, Q08. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good head. Um, but uh, the one thing you'll have to do is um, this comes with a quarter 20 on it. And most heads are, I think, 3 8 sixteenths. So what you have to do is get um, and I've gotten this in here pretty tight. I might not be able to get it out, so I'll just show it to you. I've got a 3 8 16 to quarter 20 adapter. So you'll have to buy one for your fluid head because it doesn't come with this. So once you screw that in, get it as tight as possible so you don't want it coming loose. And then screw it in, make sure your pan is tight, and then you can tighten it up pretty good that way. So it's pretty tight. So um, loosen it up. All right, and so I would probably only use this with uh, some type of small camera. This is a Sony Handycam with no remote, no microphone. Uh, so this would be a, um, a budget setup uh, or maybe for um, saddle hunting where you uh, need compact, lightweight. Um, so... But like I said, this is a budget option. This arm was 109 shipped. So in a tree stand hunting situation, I'd have it on my right hand side. And so, but for me, I've learned that my preference, my main arm uh, is a triple arm, which comes out much further, uh, but uh, this one's not bad, and especially if you're going to use it in a saddle hunting situation, uh, passing it through in front of you because of the length of this arm, um, you might might you know might be an issue. You'll have to back off a little bit. That's why I like uh, triple arms. Uh, but the big important question is, uh, does it bounce? So I assume that uh, people would choose this uh, over maybe the pocket arm, uh, but let's, uh, this pains me to do this because I'm such a big fourth arrow fan, but now I'm hitting it way more than what I would in a hunting situation. But um, as I move it and relocate it, and turn it loose. It does have a little shake while it settles in. Now, when I initially got it, one of the issues I had was this screw on the bottom wasn't tight enough, and these screws on the side here that um, the release mechanism pivots on one of them was very loose, and so that added to even more bounce than what I was already getting. So uh, I tightened those both up, and you can still see here, there is plenty of backlash, I guess you might call it, on what's going on in here um, to cause uh, this issue right here. Now, um, I had some other issues going on uh, with it too, and um, I'll show you, um, I'll, I'll put those in the video also. So um, the, the one great thing this arm has going for it is it was $109 shipped, and that really puts it in a class by itself 
as far as compact arms um, being at $109. The only other competition is going to be well over $200. And so um, it, uh, it's more expensive than the Hunt Hard from Muddy. Um, but um, the, uh, the Hunt Hard, uh, in my opinion, is a pretty good uh, beginner um, arm. And it is, of course, uh, much, much more uh, expensive and a much better camera arm than what uh, the Muddy Basic, which is very cheap. So uh, it has its flaws and it has its faults, but at $109, if you could deal with that, then um, this might be the arm for you.